agent and the developer many a time we require to take user proof of our future or take image from camera or pic from gallery in simple application like we use uh, registration and login at that time we require to take a user profile picture from camera or from existing uh, picture from gallery so it is a very requ uh, frequent requirement for pic uh, taking a picture from camera so in this tutorial we are going to learn how to take picture using camera or uh, gallery so let's get started for sake of simplicity uh, we are going to uh, use third party library uh, let's search it uh, image ficker android okay so here is the first library become image ficker so we are going to use this library into our application right so <laughs> Check the image picker library for Android. It's readme. Uh, the person developed by Double is nicely described the, all the features and how it works and uh, in a very simple language and very sophisticated way. So let's uh, use it in our application. So first of all, we need to integrate this uh, Gradle into our application system right so let's go to android studio and build a gradle let's add it okay here i already added it okay so if uh, you didn't add please uh, first step is to apply that gradle here okay and there is the one another dependency if you go to the um, documentation that require the maven repository right so let's add it here we are going to add maven and sync it so okay, let me start the uh, while syncing the project let me open the emulator for testing purpose started waiting to complete our I think syncing is done so let's let's get started right uh, let's create for a simple layout file okay. okay let's add an image view how it looks mm -hmm. 
So it is basic property. Uh, here I use the constraint layout. It's not necessary. You can um, you can use any any layout, right? It's profile image, IMG profile, right? Um, store function out, right function, left function, zero DP, okay. And our property that says here's have central prof, and for more property, I need to set which is none other, none other than report exist rebound true. Fine, here we go. Okay, now let's take uh, two button uh, to capture image and get it from. Take from camera. camera. You take camera. Let's provide the ID to our button. Right. And another button. Second button, it is for gallery. So let's add it uh, between gallery, right? And text it from gallery. Okay, fine. So for uh, our layout is ready. So let's get started on coding, right? So first, we create one method init UI and create method right so we take uh, two button and we need to uh, listen that click on um, let's say VPN camera would set one click listener okay here it is and another VPN list set one click listener we give the method letter on what to do okay so we needed two two request id to get the image um to get image from camera or gallery so let's create the companion object and first well request from camera right and one zero one let's copy it request form and it's called one zero two okay it's ready all right go ahead and uh, create one two method uh, okay, camera okay capture image capture image using camera and let's create the method I click and create a function okay yeah. 
So here is a bit view of uh, image picker library. So we just call image picker okay dot width. So here it is here it is a two option if we are using the activity or we are using in fragment. So right now we are using in activity. So we take this and provide the reference of activity. Then oh yeah, here is a method. Do you want to crop the image after the picking uh, from the camera or gallery, or you don't need to crop? So we will check the crop functionality later on. Let's go to the camera only. So camera only method will provide you to open the camera directly when the user click on the capture image button the camera open directly okay and then start okay here is another method start with the request code so we define the request code for camera so let's pass it here request code camera right so it is the one line code of, of open the camera okay so create the so this is the, the the line will go provide the way to open camera in front of user but we need once user click the picture we need it back to our application so we have to override the activity result so let's create uh, let's override the on activity result on activity result okay here it is so let's uh, let's check if result is okay or not so result code equal to equal to result okay okay if result is okay then we check whether it is a camera request or a gallery request so here we check if request code equal to equal to request code camera okay so here we get the camera image from camera else or here else if request code equal, equal to gallery right so we get the gallery or we can simply replace with bam right and that will depend. as it is a power of Kotlin uh, we can uh, we can use when instead of uh, if okay so let's create the gallery Epic image from gallery right so here we create gallery so same image picker dot with activity minus this reference and here we use the camera gallery only and start with the request for gallery right it's so simple okay so let's check our application in real device now it's look right. so application is building so build let's check okay okay the camera when we click so it creates camera put it and when click click from gallery so it's open gallery and here is a gallery images okay wait oh, we click the image but we didn't get in result right so what is the issue here the issue is we didn't handle the result right so here uh, let's Let's set the result here. Uh, image profile dot set image URI. Okay, so we we get the URI from the result. So we have a data here, data in ten. So data is a nullable. So we need to check data data not equal to null and data. Sorry, my mistake. Data right so we get the uri here so set image uri will set the image from data uri 
let's do for gallery img for file let's set image Take from camera, let's take it to camera. Hmm. Let's take this picture. Click. Okay. okay, we get the image, right? It is so simple, isn't it? Okay, so let's check the power of the library. So, if you want to crop image, then there is only one. One thing change that will crop image for us. Like start, we need to crop image. Okay, so it will provide crop facility after the picking image. Oh. If you want, if you want the particular size, how then you can also provide in crop constructor. Here it is. Here you can. You, here you can pass the x and y okay and there is a oh, another option the square if you require the square image then you can simply choose the crop square but uh, for testing purpose we are going for testing purpose we are going we are going to use only crop so here we use the camera only but crop right and here you use camera uh, here we use gallery only and dot crop there is camera only dot crop okay so let's stop the application and start it again installing application it's installed let's take it from gallery take it out and click it wow so here we get the crop option right we can crop and rotate and so on right like the picture so yeah all the set right so this is the easy way to pick uh, image from gallery and camera hope you like and understand how to use it uh, let me know if uh, there is any feedback regarding it okay thank you very much